guys welcome back to my channel my name is Abby if you are new here and today I filmed this makeup look for you guys this is a Valentine's Day tutorial because I wanted to get something up for you guys that you could wear for Valentine's Day but you could totally wear this as well anytime it's really just a classic look I kept the eyes really gold and flirty with long lashes and then a pop of red pink lips as well I think it's really beautiful I'm super excited about it so I hope that you guys like this video and if you want to get this look as well then just keep watching okay to get started today I'm going to be using my elf poreless primer this one's an all-time favorite I really like it it really blurs out your skin and fills in all the pores so I like to put this right on the t-zone area first because it's where I have the largest pores and then lightly bring it out to the perimeter of your face so for foundation today, I'm going to be mixing two foundations. This is the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation in the shade Fairlight. And then this one is the L'Oreal True Match in Light Ivory. This one is a little bit too light for my skin right now, so I'm going to be mixing... Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to be mixing it together. I just put that all over my hand, but that's okay. L'Oreal foundations in general just typically aren't my favorite. They just don't work on my skin, but if you like L'Oreal foundations, that's awesome. I know a lot of people do. They just typically don't work on my skin very well. So then I'm just going to be blending that all out with this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I like to stipple it out and then go in and blend. And then after I'm blending out with a brush, I like to go back in with just a damp beauty sponge to make sure there's no brush strokes or anything like that, just in case. This is also really good if you have a problem with your foundation kind of not sitting right on your nose with the brush, which I do most of the time. It doesn't matter what brush I use. It doesn't matter what foundation I use. On my nose, I see a lot of streaks from brush, so this is a good tip if you have a problem like that as well, because it will just blend out all of those brush strokes. Then moving on to concealer, I'm going to be taking my NYX Conceal Pot, which is an orange base concealer. I really like it, and I'm going to be using this Morphe M173 brush, and I'm going to conceal my darkest circles underneath my eyes. Also, I do find that this concealer works really well if you do have any acne spots as well because it is really high pigmented and it covers up any darkness or redness. So I like to use this on any blemishes I have as well. Then for concealer over top of that, I'm going to be using this Master Conceal by Maybelline. It just comes in this little squeeze tube and I'm just going to be popping that on my finger and dotting it underneath my eyes. This is another really full coverage concealer and I really, really like it. It's nice and lightweight. If you guys have any other concealers you really like as well, leave them down below because I am kind of getting tired of these concealers. Not that they aren't doing a great job, I just like variety in my makeup. So I'm looking for another concealer that does a really nice job. I think I might just try Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I did use that before. I have used it and I really liked it, but I just kind of don't remember what it felt like really so much. So I am wanting to try that again. And I'm also going to pop this on my chin and on any other blemishes you have as well. And then blending that all in with a damp sponge again. If you do not have a damp sponge in your makeup collection, I highly highly recommend it i use this tool every single day even if i'm just putting on some concealer on my eyes or something and just running out the door sorry about that i always use this sponge so i highly recommend it and then once you feel like you are nice and blended out you go in with a powder this is just the laura mercier translucent powder this one personally is not my favorite i know that on youtube especially everyone raves about this powder but it personally is not my favorite because i feel like it makes my under eyes really crepey and dry whenever i do use this powder i have to have to use some sort of setting spray or any sort of liquid mist that will kind of like tone down the powderiness i find that but my skin is extremely extremely dry so i'm sure other people don't struggle with it as much as i do but anyway i'm just putting this on my sponge and i'm just going to put this right underneath my eyes the good thing about this powder is that it really does lock your makeup in all day and i think that's why so many people really enjoy it I just know that I have to set it with some sort of 
mist or something to kind of dull down the powdery look. And then just whatever excess, I'm just going to tap that over my T-zone. And then for bronzer today, I'm going to be changing it up a little bit. I usually use my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. That's my tried and true, my favorite bronzer ever. But I wanted to use this NYX Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And this is in the shade Sunny. So I'm going to be using that just on this synthetic brush. I like this because it is a little bit more um, flexible. So it kind of gives you a softer bronze look. And I'm going to be taking this on the perimeters of my face, bringing it up to my forehead. I like to take this on my neck as well, just to really make sure my face is not darker than my neck or anything, or that I have any makeup lines as well. I like to just take this down my neck. And then for blush today, I'm gonna to be using my e.l.f. quad, and I'm going to take these top two shades. This palette is super, super pigmented, so you really wanna tap like you wanna get a little bit on the brush and then tap it off. And I also like to dot it on my wrist just a few times so you don't get that bulk of blush on there. And then I'm just going to run this over my cheeks very, very lightly. You can always add more, but you don't wanna get a splotch that is super hard to blend out. So really light. Also, if you hold your brush farther at the end like I am, it will apply a lighter mount just because you aren't applying so much pressure. Then for highlighter today, I'm going to be using my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I love this stuff. It is so beautiful for days that you're not even wearing any makeup. You just apply this to the top of your cheeks. I like to go down my nose, and it gives your skin such a pretty glow. You can see that. It's so soft and subtle, but looks so healthy. This is also a highlighter that you can put pretty much on your whole entire face, and you don't look sparkly at all. It looks like you just have the most hydrated, healthy skin. So I like to do that and then I also like to take this like pretty much all over my forehead as well. If you are oily, you know, you might not like this, but since I am so dry, I really like to give my skin a natural oil, but really it's just highlighting. And then for eyebrows today, I'm going to be using my ColourPop Dope Taupe Pomade. Brush my eyebrows out with a spoolie first and then I'm just going to be using this Morphe E29 brush, which has a spoolie on one end, a little brow brush on the other. I'm going to be taking that brow brush and just a filling in my eyebrows. Another eyebrow product that I have been using lately that I really like is the L'Oreal Brow Definer Pencil. I'm not sure exactly the name, but it basically is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in a drugstore brow, brow pencil thing. So that's really good as well if you are looking for a brow product from the drugstore. Just like that, I always like to spoolie them out at the end as well just to make sure they blend nicely. And then moving on to eyes, I think I'm going to go with kind of a bronzy eye, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then keep the focus of the pink on my lips just because that is really easy and simple to pull off. So I'm going to be first going in with my Morphe Matte Palette. This is the 350 matte and i'm going to be going in with just a big fluffy brush this is a morphe 505 brush and i'm going to just be taking this nude shade those two i usually like to put just all over my eyes to set all of that powder and everything that you did put on your eyelids i just find that this avoids a lot of creasing so i like to do this every day no matter what i'm doing and then i'm going to be going in with this brown shade right here as a transition just popping that on the exact same brush and I'm going to be popping this into the crease. And anytime you're doing eyeshadow, you want to be looking straight ahead into the mirror so you can see how it looks with your eyes open. And then you can also close them just to make sure if you'd like to see what they look like closed. But since the majority of the time your eyes are going to be open, you want to make sure that your eyeshadow is looking appropriate when they are open. And then I'm going to switch to a little bit smaller of a brush. This is the, the Coastal Sense BRC N06 brush. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of this shade right here. And then I'm going to touch into the darker shade as well. And I'm going to start bringing this onto the outer one third of the eye. Just like so. And then blending it into to that transition. Again, whenever you do are doing eyeshadows, it helps to kind of hold the brush a little bit farther back just so you have a lighter hand so they will blend easier together. 
And if you do get any fallout, you can just wipe it away. Or also you can put powder underneath your eyes if you're really worried about it. Powder underneath your eyes so that way whenever you do brush it away, the powder will completely remove all of that. This eye look is great for any occasion. This is not necessarily Valentine's Day specific, but I just think it'll be pretty to do like a shimmery lid. I'm going to do like a darker outer corner, shimmery lid, and then a pop of pink on the lips. And I think that will be really pretty and easy, super easy for Valentine's Day. But it will also give you a nice flirty look, which I think is super pretty. So I'm just blending all of this out. And that's pretty much it for the dark shadow. I'm going to switch over to my Morphe 305 Shimmer Palette now. And in this shimmer palette, I'm going to be picking up this shade right here. It has a little bit of a pink gold undertone. Just a little bit. Ooh, that's actually a lot more gold than I thought it was. But it's still really pretty, and I think I will still like that a lot. So first, I'm going to be going in with a flat brush. Just like this, this is just the Wet n Wild flat brush. And I'm going to be using this first. I think I will go back in with my finger, though, to add more shimmer pigment. And I'm just going to be popping this on the lid and then lightly blending it into those dark shadows that we had on the outer corner. This would be gorgeous just for a normal day look also. Like this is so, so pretty. And not too much. Very subtle, but very pretty. So I'm just going to be doing that and then I'm going to take my brush again, just that blender brush, and I'm going to run over just where the two meet to blend it all. And then also from that same palette, I'm just going to be picking up the very lightest shade as a highlight shade, this one right here, and I'm going to be putting that underneath my brow bow. Just like that. And also I'm going to go ahead and put that on the inner corners. Then taking this Morphe M432 brush, I'm going to go back into the matte palette. And I'm going to be picking up those outer corner shades that I put on. And I'm going to just be dipping my brush straight in because you only want it on the top. And I'm going to run this on the bottom. I'm going to run this on the bottom lash line. And for me, I like to keep that on the outer two thirds. I just find that that's the most flattering look for my eyes. But if you like to bring it in a little bit more, go ahead. If you don't want to put any on your bottom lash line, go ahead with that as well. It's personally however you feel the makeup looks best on you. Then I took this NYC brown eyeliner pencil. This is just a waterproof formula. And I ran that just on my top and bottom waterline just to add thickness to my lashes. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes, I'm going to apply this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and I pop on some falsies and I will be right back. So now that all that is on, I did use my Ardell Wispy falsies which are just from the drugstore. I think that they were literally 2 or $3 and I've used them probably 10 times now and they're still holding up and they look so pretty. So I just popped those on and then for lips today. I'm going to be using my ColourPop Lip Pencil in Frickin' Frack with the matching lipstick as well. Just to give it a really Valentine's-y, like, sexy look to it. Oh. Dang, that is so cool. I did not know that you could sharpen these ColourPop Lip Pencils. That is so cool. Okay. That's awesome. That's super exciting. Okay, I don't have a trash can with me. Okay, so I'm going to be using this ColourPop Frickin' Frack Lip Pencil. And I'm just going to line my lips. ColourPop has some of the best lip pencils. They are so, so creamy and not drying at all on your lips, and I love them. And then I'm just going to be going in with this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. I do know that like on Valentine's Day, you're probably going to be kissing or something. So if you do want to go with a liquid lipstick, you can do that as well. This is not 100% transfer proof. It's not completely a lipstick where it's going to like get everywhere, but it's definitely not kiss proof. 
So if you want to switch out for a lip lipstick, any mauve pinky color will work. Or you could go with red if you want to do that as well. I just really love this color combo, so I wanted to use it today. And this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day full of lots of love. And I just hope that you guys enjoy it. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'm going to be also posting a super dramatic Valentine's Day look tomorrow. Tomorrow, so you don't want to miss out on that and I think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one see ya